What's up guys, my name's Alice, I'm an artist, and this video is all about my printer baby. Nice, fun, exciting one for you guys. I've had my Epson Expression XP970 for just over a month now. I wanted to wait at least a month just to make sure it didn't blow up or anything. I did about six months of research before buying this printer. I watched so many videos, it was ridiculous. I just wish that there was a bit more information about printers and stuff, and I just love watching what other artists do and use and the equipment they use and stuff. It can be a total minefield, I'll get ya. <laughs> I have my laptop in front of me with notes and stuff. My kid is sleeping over there. Don't have a huge amount of time to film this video. I wanna get loads of value out and information and just chuck lots of stuff at you and get more videos out. And this is the way I can do it. So I hope you don't mind. I keep looking down at my notes and stuff. I'm gonna start this video by saying, this is not a recommendation. I'm sure that you know you need to do your own research about things, see whether this is actually right for you or not. Absolutely perfect for me, my business, my situation, my marketing strategy, my goals, my just everything is perfect for me. I absolutely love it, but it's up to you to do your own research about stuff. So if you're thinking about getting this printer or you just wanna see a little bit more like behind the scenes of how I do things, I hope you find this video valuable. Here she is. I won't go into all the specs, you can look those up. I'll just share what I feel are the most important features to know. So I bought mine from John Lewis, cost me about 220 pounds. I also bought the genuine XL replacement inks. So Claria, I think they're Claria, photo HD inks. So just double check it's the right one for your printer. Should be one with an elephant on. It works using Bluetooth. I have had some connectivity issues with the Bluetooth, so it's supposed to work wirelessly. I sometimes have to switch it off and back on again, and yeah, sometimes just struggles to connect to my computer, but usually can be fixed after like five minutes. So it has a rear feeder here for A3 paper, because it is an A3 printer. Also really good for thicker papers as well. So apparently you can go up to 300 GSM. You could go thicker, but I, I personally don't wanna risk it. I use 300 GSM paper for cards. I'll show you the exact paper I use as well later. I personally don't wanna risk going any thicker as continuously feeding thick paper through your printer could damage it over time. Your choice if you decide to risk it. I personally don't want to. Some of the printing specs, so it does borderless printing, which was really exciting for me because it was something I was looking out for. You can't do it with A5 paper, what you can with the A3 and A4, you can print borderless. I have noticed with thicker paper, sometimes the borderless option means bits cut off. Um, so you can just hear my kid waking up in the background, trying to speed through this. So overall it prints pretty quickly. I'll show you exactly how quickly it prints off one of my prints in best quality and how noisy it is. <laughs> it's really... I'm a digital artist, so I've never used a scanner. I don't know if it's any good or not, so I'm really sorry. If you want information on that, you're gonna have to do some more research into that yourself. I'm sure it's fine, I don't know though, but some people say that if you want a scanner and a printer, and they're both really important to you, to buy them separately so you get the best of both, but I don't know. So the inks it uses is six ink cartridges. They use, these are dye-based inks. I use Claria HD Photo Inks. I only like to use genuine inks. I don't want to spend a lot of money on my printer and then mess up the printer by using non-genuine inks. Some people say they're overpriced. I don't know, I don't want to take that risk. But I only recommend using the genuine inks because I know they work out really well and I'm, I absolutely love the results. These inks are designed to last 300 years in a photo album. I find they come out really bright and vibrant. Yeah, I'm really impressed by it. So the inks that came with lasted a really decent amount of time. I printed off about 40 to 50 sheets of A4 in best quality. However, the ink is expensive, so that definitely is a factor to consider. I will make separate videos for specifically how I make each of my products in detail, but I think it's important to give a little bit of context and show like real life examples of things that I've printed off using this printer. But again, this is just my review. This is what I do. This might not work for you and your business and stuff, so just take everything with a little bit of pinch of salt. So I use this printer to make art prints, planner stickers, greetings cards, and I'm also planning to print some bookmarks soon. Uh, most of my products are on matte paper. I'll show you all the papers that I use and I'll also link to all the papers that I buy in the description. I also have a friend called Amber who does our Yes I'm an Artist podcast with me. Hi Amber. Uh, she has the same printer as me and she's tried the glossy sticker paper and said it turned out really well. So I create colourful digital art in Procreate. Again, I'm a digital artist so everything I create is using is made using the color mode CMYK. I then send the JPEG files to my MacBook Air and edit them in Lightroom. So I have to adjust the colors quite a bit to get them just right, but I'm so happy with everything, how everything is turning out. And I'll show you some examples of things that I've made using this printer now. Here are some examples of things I've printed. So here are some A6 prints. 
really great detail. I hope that this has shown the quality good enough, really vibrant colors, just great quality printing. I've also printed off things with cards. So this is a little booklet that I've made for my gift box. Yeah, really vibrant, great quality. This is one of my greetings cards using the 300 GSM card. I'll show you, I'll go for all the papers and stuff I use in a bit. So I experimented a little bit just making the inside pink, but obviously this uses a hell of a lot of ink and would be really expensive. And yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet, but even with using block color, came out really well, no spots or anything like that. Great quality. And these are the stickers that I use. So again, I'll go into the papers I use for each thing. This is, these are my matte stickers. I've managed to get it so that they look exactly the same on the screen as they do in my hand. Really impressed with the colors and quality. Yeah, this is also using the 300 GSM paper. This is just a label for my stickers. Just gives you an example of some things I've printed off using this printer. I'm really impressed with the quality and consistency. These are the papers that I use currently at the moment. So this is the paper I use for my prints. It's Epson archival matte paper, and I think it's 189 GSM, really great quality. I think it's pretty good value as well. They come out really great and I use the matte settings for these. So I'll show you in a little bit, you know, start to finish how I print off my art prints. And I'll also make a separate video going a little bit more in depth. This is what I use for my stickers. I use the Mike, Mike, <laughs> matte white vinyl paper. I'll, I'll give you a link to where I got these on Amazon. Really great paper. I haven't had a problem with this at all. Again, using the matte setting and yeah, this is the 300 GSM paper that I use for my cards and other little accessories like the label on the stickers and stuff like that. Really impressed with that. Bought that on eBay and I'll give you the link for that one as well. So my final thoughts. This print is absolutely perfect for me. I think it's probably one of the best decisions I made for my business. It's really easy to use. It produces consistently high quality results and I haven't had any issues with it except for some connectivity issues with the Bluetooth. I think you can get a lead to connect things up, not sure. Context is really, really important. I'm gonna say this again, you know, I'm creating colorful digital art. I sell my prints for between like five pound for a mini art print at market to around 17, 18 pounds for an A4 print online, including postage. I sell my cars between one pound 50 and four pound, including postage. Really important to say that this fits in really nicely with my marketing strategy and my business goals. You might want to look into getting a more expensive printer that has pigment based ink so you can produce those really high quality G clay prints and sell them for like 50 to 100 pounds plus. 
I don't want to do this. So this print is absolutely perfect for me for what I want, want it for. You might want to use different paper or the settings that work for me might not work for you. Um, there's so much trial and error involved with printing at home. Just be prepared to spend a lot of time, effort and money getting things perfect. It's definitely a learning curve for sure. You need to test out different papers and settings and all that stuff and it's just definitely a process. So just be prepared for that. But again, it's perfect for me, my style of art, my marketing strategy, my business plan does everything I want. I'll, I'll link to the printer on John Lewis. I don't wanna find the printer on Amazon, even though it might be a little bit cheaper and link it below because I don't really trust Amazon with electronic stuff. So I don't wanna send you guys a link for that. That's not how I bought my printer. I bought one on John Lewis. So if you wanna buy it for Amazon, that's, that's on you. Uh, I will give the links to all the papers and stuff I use on eBay and Amazon below. Again, I will be making detailed videos about how I make each of my products in a lot more detail, my prints, my stickers, my cards and bookmarks possibly from start to finish. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see y'all later, bye.